Bio-inspired tensegrity flexural joints is an innovative step towards imitating human gait through robotics. The robots we designed consist of structurally compliant networks of relatively stiff compression elements suspended in a mesh of flexible tension elements. These systems that contain tension with integrity are commonly known as tensegrity. Tensegrity structures possess the ability to deform and distribute forces evenly. These structures are capable of a multitude of degrees of freedom, and the motion generated is a matter of assigning which set of tension elements are active and which are passive. Our research began with simply understanding the motions of gait with the human body. We began our experimentation by using the motion capture system OptiTrack to record one full cycle of in-place gait. OpenSim is a powerful simulator capable of analyzing the biomechanics of the human body. With the simulator, we were able to perform inverse dynamics where measurements of positions and velocities from the motion capture system outputs the calculation for kinetic information for forces and moments. With the simulator, we also explore doing the complete reverse, known as forward dynamics, where force is an input and the output is position and velocity with our own custom models. By eliminating minor muscles, we were able to isolate the three most dependent muscles for performing gait. OpenSim is a simulator which focuses primarily on creating human-based models performing specific actions. Our team broke down the fundamentals of the simulator and learned the foundation to make our own multi-body tensegrity structure. By taking bits and pieces away from the human model shown in the previous slides, we eventually created our bio-inspired tensegrity flexural joints. Referring back to human gait, we simplified our understanding to four main stages. This allowed us to work towards a tensegrity flexural joint with the expected behavior of achieving those four stages of gait. Heel lift, extension forward, follow through, and return to equilibrium. The estimated forces given from the simulator gave us a target tensile force for the active elements to approach. As shown in the plot, stages 1 through 3 are contracting one single muscle to imitate one cycle of gait. The foundation of our simulation led us to the physical prototype shown here. As shown in the clip, by contracting or extending the three active tensile elements, we are able to generate four stages of gait. The first stage contracts the hamstring muscle, the second slowly extends the gluteus maximus and the hamstring muscle while contracting the iliopsoas muscle. The third stage reverses the motion by releasing the iliopsoas and contracting the gluteus maximus. The fourth and final stage loosens all tension elements back to equilibrium or the starting position. This plot gives an accurate depiction of the similarities between the range of motion for the OpenSim model, the human leg, and the integrity flexural structure. Thank you for listening on this Spotlight presentation. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please contact me at the email listed.